this group has been probably my most cohesive, mm. collaborative group that we've had yet. And I think maybe because of the size, and I'm not sure, I think those Washington and Oregon people are pretty nice to each other. <laughs> that I want to share with you. One is kind of our agenda for today. Um, the very first thing that's going to happen is we will be sharing, or the, the cohort will be sharing with you their project that they've worked on for the last 10 months. And um, you can guess what the topic might be. But um, so they're going to do their whole presentation. Then we're going to give the floor over for some Q&A so that you can ask questions about their project. Um, ask them about their process, all of those kinds of things. And then after that, we're going to start the graduation. And during the graduation, each of the members of the cohort will have an opportunity to talk to you directly about maybe why they wanted to be in this program, maybe what they got out of the program, or whatever they want to talk about. So it's their moment on the podium. And um, we'll have a little picture opportunity, and then we have a cake and we have some dessert. And today we have even more reason to have a cake because it is the lovely Nicole's 35th birthday. graduation, um, you'll see that there are hopes and dreams listed along with their photos. So you're welcome to follow along or not. It's totally up to you. But that's what you have in your packets. And without further ado, I would love to, and I'm proud to present to you, the 2019 Pacific Northwest So imagine this. You start your job for the first day. You're walking into your room. Um, like right now, I don't know hardly anybody in here. Um, <laughs> you have all kinds of nerves. You're jittery. A couple weeks go by. You're still not quite settled. More weeks go by. You're in a position like me when I started the acting in Gresham. Um, I didn't know anyone. I came from Washington State. 
the acronym world in Washington State is vastly different from Oregon, so we're pretty much talking uh, foreign language to one another. I was extremely overwhelmed. Uh, I even questioned if I wanted to continue on with my position. Um, and I thought that it would be a great idea if I had a mentor to help me go through this journey, help hold my hand, and bring some balance into my position. So the Pacific Northwest leaders, um, we had brainstormed together and we um, created the mentorship program. Um, the mentorship program strengthens one person at a time by cultivating connections. So uh, we used all of our skills, um, all of our efforts, our personal experiences, and we created this program that we're presenting to you today. Um, and Mary, this wasn't by on a purpose, but this is some of the technology we can use for our mentor, our modern mentoring <laughs> um, technology. She's going to be sharing um, from her peer perspective about modern mentoring. Oh no, hang on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. I turned off this, and I wonder if I turned her off. Okay, Mary, talk. I, I'm here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, that hurt you guys nice. <laughs> so in the beginning of this emerging leader journey, I voted to work on the mentorship piece because it's been a lifelong desire of mine to help people feel like they belong. And as peers at Telecare, forming connections with people is the heart of what we do. Uh, we use our lived experience to model that health, hopes, and dreams are attainable, and we believe that connection and relationship is crucial to the wellness of the whole person. As mentors, we can model these things to our Telecare family. We can show that forming relationships with team members and helping them feel connected to their job matters to this company. In the initial book that we read, First Break All the Rules, we learned about the Q12 tool that was created to measure the strength of the workplace. The author used the analogy of climbing a mountain in relation to, uh, relation to a person feeling connected to their job and their company. And the example tells us that at each level of climbing the mountain of the workplace, a person needs to acclimate to the area of the mountain that they're on before they climb any higher. Uh, climbing higher before you're stabilized on that level could cause problems severe enough to make you abandon the climb altogether. So two of the foundational survey statements that employees are asked to rate are, my supervisor or someone at work cares about me as a person, and there is someone at work that cares about my development. Without a favorable answer to these statements, we may not keep a staff member for very long. So in this mentorship program, we can model job satisfaction and connection to telecare with the hopes of retaining our employees for longer periods of time and to help them feel excited about building a career with telecare. Uh, we, as telecare employees, spend our, our days caring for the health, hopes, and dreams of others. If this caring begins with our telecare team, imagine what an even more wonderful and strong workplace we would have. In his poem, Success, Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to know that even one life is breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. This mentorship program has the potential to make our team members breathe easier and know that telecare values our relationship with them and wants to help them succeed, much like this Emerging Leaders program has done for all of us. Telecare is a really great family to be a part of, and we want to keep our family together for as long as we can. So we were asked um, if we could propose one thing that would be, or would contribute to Telecare's growth as a whole, what would it be? So we all got together and we brainstormed our ideas. And one of the most beautiful things about the ideas that we shared amongst each other was they all expressed our desire to connect with each other and um, to support one another. Um, one of my suggestions was the mentorship program. And it was something that I can speak <clears throat> on the value 
of because I have a mentor, and it's been an amazing experience for me. Um, I the the connection that I have with my mentor and the support that I receive has been like, pivotal in the woman that I'm becoming, the person that I'm becoming um, in general. Uh, a while ago, I found myself in a position where I felt lost and. I didn't really know, like I knew what I was passionate about, but I wasn't really sure what direction to go in. And I don't know if you can have a midlife crisis at 25, but <laughs> I think that might have been. Quarter life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so I started reading books and uh, attending events, like trying to find something that gives me an idea of like what direction I need to go in. And one event I attended celebrated some powerful and amazing women in my community. And every single one of the speakers um, spoke about their mentor and how they drove, helped drive the, um, them to their goals. And um, <clears throat> I knew then I needed one. It's like, I have to get a mentor. This is <laughs> what I have to do. So I had the idea, and I knew who I wanted. I, I knew exactly what I've seen for myself. Like, I knew what I wanted, and I, the, the person that I wanted to become. And the person I had in mind embodied many of those things. So I asked her, and I don't know who was happier, uh, but she agreed, and we decided to um, take on each other in a mentor uh, relationship. Um, um, one of the things that she did tell me was that she would only mentor me if I agreed to be a mentor once I was prepared to do so. And I agree. So if this program does take off, I am more than happy to uh, volunteer my time and uh, knowledge as a mentor. Um, like other modern mentorship relationships, um, the meetings are driven by me. Um, I share my goals, my aspirations, um, my ideas, and even my frustrations. And in return, I get uh, feedback and guidance and advice or she provokes deeper thought into a decision. Um, and at the end of each meeting, I'm given homework assignment um, that is in one way or another conducive to what I've expressed to her that I'm trying to accomplish. Um, so my mentor covers a lot of things that I know that we probably, it's not feasible to um, roll out in this situation. However, I think in, if we intentionally create a platform to nurture and cultivate those connections and relationships, it will make a huge difference as it has in my life and a couple of the other people that have mentors expressed and other people in general. Um, yeah. So I had the great pleasure of speaking with Jennifer Hinkle, our VP of Director of VP of Development. Um, she's an amazing person, and um, she shared with me, um, she was really excited about a course that she had just taken in modern mentoring. Um, prior to me speaking with her, I had no idea what modern mentoring was. And so she had uh, suggested some books and some websites to research about it, and essentially modern mentoring is like mentoring 2.0. So it's not like the traditional mentoring that some of us maybe have experienced, like myself, you sit in front of somebody in a room, you take down notes, you smile, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, and then you just go about your day, and it's a really kind of a one-sided relationship. Um, so the great thing about modern mentoring is that we have the ability to actually utilize the technologies that we're currently using today, um, as in uh, Skype, that's Zoom, Zoom, he's <laughs> today. Um, also with uh, FaceTime, with texting, with phone calls. Um, since most of us come from different states and we're all going to still be connected, um, we have that ability to talk to one another and keep that relationship going. Um, so Jim is actually going to touch uh, about the research that um, him and I have completed in modern mentoring. Thanks. And relationships do make a, matter, make a difference. And we use that concept as we proceeded to do our research. Uh, once the decision was made on the subject of our project, uh, the entire team went about researching mentorship and what it meant to different companies and so forth. We wanted to know what works, and of course what doesn't work, what are some of the pitfalls and how we can avoid those. 
and basically how to build a mentorship program. <clears throat> we used our personal and pre pers professional relationships, as I mentioned, to uh, interview different folks that we knew, our supervisors, our co-workers. And Jennifer Hinkle, the uh, Aquila went to. And um, we also examined some existing programs throughout the country. Um, we also spoke with or um, researched companies that offered to set up mentorship programs for organizations like ours. We um, identified data measures that may be used to um, measure the success of the program. And we um, noted that full involvement of the mentees was essential. Some of the ways that, that a mentee might do that is by setting their own goals like others have here mentioned. And um, then we talked about program accessibility to all employees, also very vital to a successful program. And the modern mentorship uh, concept really fits with that, with using technology and, and uh, being able to cross state boundaries without travel and all that sort of thing. Um, we uh, found that it was really important to identify uh, numerous um, mentors throughout the organization so that we could uh, provide more mentorship availability, of course, to staff, but also that we could um, expect that more uh, wide range of, of uh, knowledge and skills would be available for all those unique positions that we have out there. And finally, we noted the need for continuously gathering feedback so that we can continue to improve the program. Yeah. Okay. What we hope to accomplish, we want to um, we want to improve connections and um, between programs. We also want to increase job satisfaction and competency between roles. And we also look to make connections and partnership between light programs and cultivating strengths from within, growing and growing our own. Long term retention pretty important with our within with the, the mentorship idea. What we want to do is we want to engage new employees while we re-engage old employees that have been there a while. Um, we want to retain new and existing employees, and we want to improve our high involvement culture and community. Yeah. Some of those old employees, most of you know me, have been here for about 18 years. Uh, and um, as we were going through this uh, process, everybody asked me, you know, what, what's kept you here so long? And uh, so I thought about it, and Really what's kept me here so long are my connections and my relationships. Uh, first of all, my deep connection to our values and our mission here at Telecare, which means a lot to me personally. And my connection to so many staff at all levels, including executive committee, to frontline staff and mid-level leaders. Um, all of us working so hard together to share our stories and our triumphs and our celebrations and our hard times all of our late nights and our early mornings, weekend work, everything that we do to build this story together. It's also really because of my relationships with my team who are here, especially Shay, who is my 18 plus year <laughs> supervisor and partner in crime, who is my teacher and my leader and my friend and my mentor. And she and I mentor each other, uh, where one of us needs some knowledge, the other one usually has it or can say, hey, here's how we can find it out. Uh, when one of us is falling down, the other one picks each other, we pick each other up. And uh, I, that relationship has made the pivotal difference for me uh, being here this long. Um, another way that, uh, that I wanted to speak about our relationship. <laughs> together, you know, like in this for 16 years, and then I had the opportunity to move to Oregon. And uh, I think we're all a little worried if the relationship would continue to be as strong as it was. But because of the magic of technology, and also because Shay and I are introverts, and even though we were in the same office, we texted and emailed back and forth rather than turning around and actually talking face to face. Um, because of these technological 
technological advances that we have, um, it. <laughs> We have been able to continue our relationship pretty much as usual. We check in every day, all day, we do Skype, we do phone, the connection has remained as strong as ever. Um, and here at Telecare, we value so deeply that human touch, that human connection. And as we've grown bigger and bigger over the years, I know that many of us have worried that this big geographical growth and uh, you know sheer size of Telecare will diminish some of this wonderful culture that keeps so many of us here for so long. And uh, we believe that um, by utilizing technology such as this and this mentorship program, we can tie together those connections in a deeper way and help knit this fabric together in a way that helps to bridge those, those gaps and, and um, keep those connections strong as we continue to grow and expand. Hi. In the uh, packet that was provided to you today, we have an example of a toolkit that was compiled, uh, compiled based on the research and also the telecare culture. Um, in the packet is an application for a mentor. Um, expectations are laid out. There's an agreement, an activity log, and then a form for evaluation. We also created, based on the program contact list, um, Ask a Mentor page. And this is where mentors would be listed, and a person could search for a mentor based on their job, their region, their program type. Um, and when they found what they were looking for, they could click in, and they will see that the clinician, James Peach, and there's the bio, providing more information, location, preferred contact. If holy moly! <laughs> <mentor. laughs> you guys did some serious work here. <laughs> Uh, speaking of that, we know this is a big push, <laughs> and we don't expect this to be rolled out and adopted all at once because this is a huge project. Uh, and we're going to touch on that a little later on in the presentation. But uh, if we chose to adopt this program and move forward, um, the Ask a Mentor program would support strongly our strategic priority of a high involvement culture by getting staff involved at all levels to continue to knit together this fabric of our, of our, of our culture here at Telecom. Um, once the program would be was ready for distribution, of course, we would follow our usual uh, uh, our usual protocol of rolling it out to high-level leaders, mid-level leaders, and staff using everything that we have available to us: memos, conference calls, and video calls, <laughs> all of the things that we use to make sure that everyone at all levels is informed and knows what the program is, what it isn't, how to use it. We would continue to check in through um, periodic, um, periodic feedback meetings to make sure that the program remains vibrant, um, functioning, and that it's serving the purpose that we intended it for. Relationships do make a difference. And it was amazing when we started this Emerging News program just how prevalent that was between all of us and how telecare has really put that out there that there's no question the importance of relationships. Um, telecare is over six states. We have 130 facilities and over 3,800 employees. And we are growing exponentially every year. And it's amazing. And the thing that we love about this mentorship program is over 70% of Fortune 500 companies have implemented a mentorship program, including companies like Boeing, Google, USAA and General Electric. And the thing that we know about those companies is that they do have a high involved employees. And we as well want to be right on that path. Also, this mentorship program is, goes into our destination 2020, building stronger, smarter, skilled employees. And it's wonderful that we can take the skills that everyone in this room has and you can implement it from corporate all the way down to a facility by bridging that gap with the mentorship program. A well-designed mentorship program will serve as a valuable onboarding tool so we can implement this day one. Renee can add it into her onboarding with training. And the best thing is, is that our um, mentorship, where you can look and find mentorship, we can use SharePoint. 
which is a training that we'll be using for all employees as a form of communication. So SharePoint is a very simple way to connect people that we already use. It'll boost employee retention and loyalty. Again, we've already managed to keep some very long employees and it'd be great to see that to continue. We can improve workplace engagement and morale, support personal and professional growth, and develop future leaders. And it is amazing just this Emerging Leader Program has by far given us the opportunity to, to find mentorships as well. Um, while we were researching, I read an article about modern mentorship in Forbes, and this quote really stuck out. It said, employees reach their full potential when their jobs also bring intrinsic reward. The feeling of doing meaningful work that's connected to their own personal and professional development. Modern mentorship will bridge the gap between individuals and organizational needs and in between extrinsic and intrinsic rewards. This program is something that everybody will benefit from. It can be a corporate ride and that would be amazing. But we understand right now may not be the time. We may not be able to do that. Well, what you see in your books is a toolbox, something that I or any one of buddy at any facility could start. The thing that we learned in Emerging Leaders is lead from where you are. And that really stuck out. And it's, you know what, I can take this to my program right now. And I can start it right now. And we can bring it up from there. Or even, I know a few of our Emerging Leaders have been talking about cross-training facilities. So it's amazing that this project was able to not only be a corporate level change that we would love to see and implement, but we ourselves can bring it to our own facility and implement it immediately. So on that note, we'd like to thank the executive team for giving all of us the opportunity to come up with this project, <coughs> research this project, and passionately present it to you guys. We'd like to thank each administrator here, Greg, I know you have employees here for supporting our, us and allowing us the opportunity to take time away from our facilities to do this project. And we'd just like to thank all you guys for being here and supporting us. Thank you.